Hello everyone, I'm Tu Tian from Shanghai AI Laboratory. I'm so glad to be here to present you the details regarding the open lane topology challenge. Apart from detection, understanding road topology is also crucial for autonomous vehicles. Apart from uh, the, the ground line lane markings, the traffic elements such as road signs and traffic lights also affect lane possibility and road topology. Taking, taken imports from surrounding multi-view images, the aim of this challenge is to predict the 3D center line as the lane representation detects traffic elements to enable vehicles to correctly recognize the possibility of lanes and establish relationships between lanes and traffic elements. Furthermore, we have focused on the topology among lanes and the relationship between lanes and traffic elements. The inspiration for this challenge comes from the road detection community. In the early years, people detect lane, lane lines on 2D images and project the detection results into 3D space based on the flat ground assumption through IPM. However, since the flat ground assumption does not always stand, lane detection errors usually increase with distance on unflat grounds. In 2022, we proposed Open Lane V1, the first large scale 3D lane dataset in the world, with a large amount of high quality lane line annotations, setting off a new trend for 3D lane line detection in the community. Meanwhile, other aspects were also emphasized, such as the HD map elements, the connectivity of center lines, and binding traffic lights to lanes. Among those active community works, we pondered for a comprehensive understanding of 3D road structure. We need a unified road topology representation within one dataset. Therefore, we propose Open Lane V2. It is a perception and reasoning benchmark for road scene structure, first in the world. It boasts 2,000 scenes, 2.1 million instance level annotations, and 1.9 million positive topology relationships. In Open Lane V2, high quality traffic elements uh, annotations are act accurately linked with lane center lines. Both center lines and the traffic elements have temporal tracking information and the topology information is updated in real time as the vehicle moving. To thoroughly evaluate road structure recognition performance under such complex circumstances, we have designed a brand new set of evaluation metrics. First, the detection score for lanes. Usually the threshold distance to evaluate the detection of the directed center lines. Second, detection score for traffic elements implying a multi-class IOU-based MAP. Third, and a topology score among lane center lines and between the lane center lines and the traffic elements. The final open lane score is a weighted sum of these four metrics. This score also serves as the main metric for this competition. Open lane V2 as a newly introduced task has gained widespread attention. Participants ranging from academy and industry, representing four countries, from a, from a diverse group of 34 teams with over 700 submissions. A large and solid improvement is made by the outstanding uh, champion. 20% higher on OLS than Toponet, which is a newly proposed strong baseline, uh, specially designed for this task. We now come to one of the most awaited moments. We will have the award announcement and follow up by a presentation by each awarded team. The Innovation Award of Open Line Topology Challenge goes to the team of uh, Flat Purse Whispers, and the authors are from Middle East Techno uh, Technical University, Turkey. Congratulations. And then we will have the uh, Whispers team to present their method. Um, they will be in the Zoom conference. Uh, hello, let's welcome the team whispers. Uh, hello, uh, we have decided that we can play the video recording, that we have some thoughts, but 
If you want to record a uh, present, then we can step in. Uh, sorry. Uh, we can uh, play the video, but if you want uh, to present uh, for us, you can uh, present. Oh, it, it's up to you. I can either pre, uh, play the video or you can just uh, yeah, yeah, the it's, presentation. it's okay. But uh, if there is any question and answer, we can uh, step in and answer if there is. Ah, okay, okay. I, I will play the video then. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. It's and our team in the challenges related to sleepers and uh, our valuable members of the team are Ali Brown of Super Star Clinch and Professor Dr. Alfred Zemza. And our study is Topamas, which is instant math based formulation for the role of topology from the real Samsung based architecture. So as a methodology, the proposed instant math based methodology that was labeled virtual representation which is denoted as up, down, left, and right. And up means actually down to up, and down means actually up to down. So, which is shown also in the figure one. And as you can see, the semantic is, is shown in this figure, and uh, with the following uh, figures, uh, the instances for every code label direction is shown. So, there is two main reasons the utilizing quasi label direction representation. The first reason is that we have to convert every mass instance into the point citation. So, uh, in order to convert, convert it, we have followed low and columnized expectation. What I mean is that for up and down directions, uh, in here, uh, we have taken the low wise expectation. Uh, and for the, I mean, the left and right uh, direction for the virtual representation, we have taken the columnized expectation. So, so this is the first reason. And the second reason in utilizing the positive direction representation is that uh, even if we have obtained the point set, we don't have a flow of information. It can be missed, for example. So, uh, in, order, uh, in order to obtain the flow of information, uh, we have utilized uh, to enrich the point set with order information. So, as you can see, the people to uh, of the orbit to top mass architecture, the crucial point is that after obtaining the bad feature, it's treated as, uh, as if like to the perspective feature and given directly to the mass form of architecture and uh, this branch is the static element grace and, and this solution to the object detection transform base. And the queries are assumed uh, to be embedded in the traffic element as main satellites. So, for the matrix, I and mean, for the detection of the satellite, line, uh, the mean average precision, but based upon the fracture distance, is utilized actually. Mm -hmm. So, the fracture distance is basically placed in forces to the flow information. This is the correlation part, and for the detection of traffic elements, mm -hmm. uh, basically the IO based. In average precision is utilized. For the reasoning part, the important point is that we will need to detect the both the vertices and the uh, edge between the vertices. This is the important point. And the port of OLS for the average. I mean, the number of the spots, the Shanghai distance does not place importance uh, to the flow information. So, just the overall, uh, just the, I mean, the precision of the points is important, but the flow is not important. The point is also similar, but it's not a mean average precision based metric. So, when we are comparing it, it uh, I mean, the, the current state of our topology architecture. And uh, even if the pressure based mean average precision is the same, there is a significant increase in the chamfer distance based uh, mean average precision performance. We have also seen that our F1 score is uh, compared to the high with respect to the, I mean, the actual pressure 
this, uh, this translates in English proficient uh, compared to compared to the other teams. Uh, and if one is uh, similar to the Shankar, of course, it doesn't consider the flow information. So, so we have also compared with the Bayesian representation and our mask formulation, and it's superior over the Bayesian representation. And we have also really developed some future strategy between them, and we have found a, a rule based strategy uh, that the OLS score might be better with this fusion compared to the mask with some conflicts actually. So we have also an attempt to challenge with the fusion fusion strategy actually. So uh, that's it. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, I will be glad to answer these. Okay, thank you, the Whispers team. The honorable runner up of the open lane topology challenge goes to the team of victory from advanced micro devices. Congratulations. And then we will have the team victory to present their method. The CVT are 2023 of Shaw and Shaw are MD's solution. The name of our method is called separating the lower top of the In this video, we will introduce the details of our method. This is the overall framework of our method, which is an entry and neural network. The separation architecture and says four task simultaneously. The overall framework of our method is inspired by Eurogenome, which is an end to end neural network. Unlike Eurogenome, we apply a separated architecture. The BEM and PV branch. The master backbones and a separated machine. First of the four subtasks in what is a land center line detection. We use three small ends backbone and apply a BV formula to transform the HAB. A deformable TPR head with hierarchy query is utilized to predict 3D lens. A traffic element detection, which is general measure to detect targets. A two topology prediction task, we follow STSU solution. In particular, two LCRC topo topology prediction, we introduce a geometric clues to promote the prediction. 3D line detection, we design two kinds of planets. Point query and instance query. They are first passed through a self attention model to avoid the interaction between queries. Then, a point, pool, a point pooling model is prefers to get the global feature across point queries. We utilize the mission operation to pull the point queries. Finally, the LC query is obtained by and each distant query to the uh, broad point query. There are two kinds of center lines, non-layer center lines, and maximums in the intersection. In consider of normal center lines, maximums in the intersection are more related to the overall structure of the road. 
and must be related to the non-clone textual features. Therefore, we distinguish these two categories in the classification pack as an LC head. Instead of activating the 3D line and file Azeo control points like STSU, we directly model the 3D line and develop equal space to key points in its skeleton. We find this simple representation is surprisingly better than the Zeo curve. On this page, we summarize our main tools with this. First, we develop different models and chains through the main detector only. This strategy enables each model to perform its own duties and avoids the impact between different tasks. Second, we utilize some small points set up to less than Third, we use 11 points magnification instead of the Zero curve. Fourth, what we uh, apply is a dimensional value structure to promote feature learning. Finally, we utilize intersection sensitive head to distinguish, to distinguish two kinds of segments. The following table demonstrates the improving effect of, uh, of the adult structures. For track element detection, we utilize three small as our head form and a demo and detection plan. Also, we use a discovery training strategy and chain track element factor only. Unlike three million centimeter detection, we keep the original size of the function. The following table demonstrates how we improve the performance to the Trust animal detection. For the topology prediction, we find the performance of the topology prediction is highly related to the performance of the LC and the TV detectors. We better detectors, the topology predictors perform better to look at fine tuning in the home. Especially for LC and LC topology prediction, we introduce geometric. Uh, Communities to assist you in predicting the topological relationship between band lines. First, we concatenate the LC query with the start and end point. Second, any two band lines whose start and end points are, are less than three meters apart is considered to have a topological relationship. The two tables below demonstrate the performance of the uh, two topology prediction tasks. The performance of organ language validation and test set are demonstrated in the following tables. On the validation set, we achieve around 53.57% of our weights. On the test set, we achieve 40. 4.56% of our apps. In this result, we have almost to obtain the only one we want to do. Thank you for your attention. Okay, let's thank uh, the team victory from AMD. And the outstanding champion of the Open Line Topology Challenge goes to the team of MFB from Beijing Institute of Technology, MACB Technology, University of Science and Technology of China, and the University of Hong Kong. Congratulations to the winners. And now the team MFB authors will present their work. Thank you.
being provided your signature modifications are as class balance symbol and the using of uh, suitable labels. Following uh, relation targets and the detailed environment results, regarding land action, increasing the scale of carbon due to an enormous of model standards. Finally, we are to allow the tables of representative environment compared to the next two key. Moreover, extending the training direction has uh, an additional 6 percent improvements. While using PDA augmentation, contributes a 1 percent increase. Here is the population study for traffic detection. Uh, lastly, we have shown the results of topology relationships and the uh, varying land and uh, traffic detection performance. The so performance of topology relationship will improve the performance of both tasks as the task increases. In the test laboratory, we achieve the answer based performance. So, uh, so testing the second is by eight points. That's all my talk. Thanks for listening. Okay, let's thank team MFV for their presentation. And I'm very glad to tell you that it's the end of our morning session. So have a nice meal and please come back by 1.30 p.m. If you are still interested, that's when our uh, afternoon session will begin. Oh, thank you guys.